see all this mould and mildew. A lady asked me a long time ago how to keep me decking and that. And it's all on me swing as well. She said how to keep it. Well, I've, I didn't want to show her then because I knew it was going to be a while before I do it. And now that the spring is coming in, you just spray this. This, show you. Mold and mildew. Spray it all over it. I'm going to get on with spraying it, but this is what I do. And then I'm brushing it all in with the floor brush. So I'll get on with doing that, and I'll show you it again in a minute. I've left that soaking in a bit. And I just get an old brush. I can't really do it with the old and the... I'll just brush it like that now. I'll keep doing this and give it a couple of coats of the mould and mildew. Now you can see where the mould's coming off now. Leave it soaking in a bit now. Look, look at the difference there to before. I won't jet wash it because it, it peels the paint off but I will swill it down but I'm leaving the mould and mildew to soak in but you can see the difference can't you and I mean it might take a couple of bottles but at only one pound odd it's worth it just go over it if Got a little bit. Do you want your lappy wash down, sunshine? Do you want your lappy wash down? Remember that song? No, you won't. Just as I once don't remember it. But you can see, can't you? Look, see? That was all pure green before. Still a bit of green on it, but not a lot. Not a lot. Spraying all this. It's the year, see? It's the canopy off the swing. Goes mouldy in the winter. Look at that. Look how bad that is. I'll give it all a good spray. Let it activate with the, the sunshine. And I'll probably take it off when one of the kids come round to help me. I'll take it off and put it in the washing machine. And I've done it before. I know it works. I'll just carry on doing this. Now, can you see that? On a lot better than it was before. So I'm just letting the mould and mildew do its work. It's because over the winter it's been in the shade and damp. I should have really took it off, but being a lazy cow that I am, I never. I usually do, but I never. So I'll let that get into what it's doing. Take it off and I'll throw it in the washing machine. See, that's what it was all like, and that's what it's going like now. This one isn't so bad as it's been in the sunshine. I made this one myself, this canopy, because they were all too dear to do, to, to buy. So say, this isn't too bad this side. It is still here, mouldy. But I shall do the same. Oh, spider. Oh, my word. Give it all a spray the same.
I'll brush it with the floor brush and I'll take it off and wash it. This is part one of me Easter tidy up every year, get the garden ready. Start with the decken, as you can see, that's soaked in nice, the mould and mildew. And this is part one, so I'll let you see how I go on. That's soaking in nice as well. This is my garden flags as well. As you can see, there's mould on these. Well, I won't put mould and mildew on all of here. I'll be using bleach. I don't jet wash it because I'm on a water bill. But you can see here, I'm just showing you so I can show you the end results when it's done. And it look, oh, that's my beard food. You can see the end results when it's all finished. So this is part one, as I say, of tidying up the back garden for spring. I am Donald Duck. Yes, I do mean the word doing that, brushing it, but it'll all be worth it in the end. This is part one, don't forget, the spring clean tidy up of the garden. The house hasn't been done yet, like. I love my garden more than the house.